Ciao mondo, hello world, hola mundo, hello mond, konnichiwa, ni hao. We're here again with uh, Cappuccino in this time of uh, coronavirus emergency and uh, we received uh, many many requests uh, to express an opinion on what is uh, probably the membrane that should be used for CRRT in patients uh, undergoing renal replacement therapy in the ICU uh, in case of uh, COVID-19 uh, disease. Uh, the question uh, is actually uh, uh, critical but requires an articulated uh, uh, response. First of all, we may say that uh, if renal replacement therapy is needed, uh, probably <coughs> any type of membrane uh, uh, among those commonly utilized uh, should be adequate to treat uh, uh, patients uh, for acute kidney injury. Nevertheless, uh, there is a, a, an important uh, uh, feeling that uh, some patients may actually require uh, further support in terms of uh, cytokine removal. Uh, the question is a little bit uh, controversial, but nevertheless, uh, we should uh, underline that uh, we have membranes that are capable of absorbing uh, cytokines. Among these membranes, we can include, for example, oxyris, which is a modified AN69 membrane, or polymethylmethacrylate uh, membranes with high absorption capacity. Um, on the other side, uh, uh, without going into the details of hemoabsorption, where specific cartridges should be used, but sticking to the use of membranes, we can also um, put forward the, the hypothesis of the pathophysiological rationale for the use of uh, uh, medium cutoff membranes and uh, high cutoff membranes. High cutoff membranes uh, can be used, especially in those conditions where rhabdomyolysis is present, to remove myoglobin, or in case of concomitant disease such as light chain disease and, and so on. Knowing very well that uh, high cutoff membrane have a kind of uh, albumin leakage and therefore they should be used uh, with uh, uh, careful uh, attention, especially in uh, uh, CVVHD modality, and they should be used uh, uh, not for too long, uh, too long time. Um, medium cutoff membranes, uh, what we call today, for example, Theranova, uh, are used for chronic patients to remove inflammatory mediators, and therefore they may find also their rational in the use uh, of COVID-19 patients with high cytokine levels. How do we identify these patients? Uh, well, they have a uh, status of hypercoagulability, they have a high level of uh, uh, inflammatory mediators, uh, they have high CRP, they tend to be hemodynamically unstable and become oliguric. These patients should probably be considered for a treatment which combines renal support and the cytokine removal. Medium cutoff membrane represents a, a nice uh, compromise between a, a membrane with open pores that remove uh, high quantities of uh, high molecular, medium high molecular weight solutes while limiting very much the loss of albumin. We have calculated uh, that uh, uh, albumin loss uh, is less than 5 grams per day uh, in, uh, in a treatment uh, of 24 hours. So with this, uh, I think I gave you the spectrum of uh, different uh, membranes uh, that can be used for renal support and for extra indications in COVID-19 patients. Uh, all these uh, membranes should be probably studied in randomized control trials. We should evaluate uh, uh, their uh, adequacy of treating these patients. However, we should remind that uh, mortality is not an endpoint in this case, but rather the possibility to either reconstitute the immunosystem and the immunohomeostasis or to gain time 
for patients to be treated with other drugs that may become complementary uh, for the treatment of COVID-19 uh, uh, syndrome. Uh, all these treatments should be done in conjunction with a very good anticoagulation regime because these patients are hypercoagulable and therefore both you can use regional citrate anticoagulation, you can use uh, um, uh, low molecular weight heparins or unfractionated heparin, but you should have a target uh, of anticoagulation which is slightly more effective compared to standard treatments. The last question is how frequently to change these membranes? Well, in general, our suggestion is to change the membranes every 24 hours at least, if possible, because absorption capacity may be reduced and also the sieving coefficient may be reduced. With this, I thank you very much for joining today, Cappuccino. I just expressed my opinion on, on a question that many people have uh, asked me. Uh, maybe these opinions uh, can be controversial. Very soon we will have an ATKI meeting uh, and a consensus conference on how best to treat uh, our patients uh, with COVID-19 and uh, kidney involvement. And with this, thank you very much. Mm. Ah, excellent.